All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, while in this truth from. I want to say your peace and salutations to the hopeful leg. And today I want to go into the book of First Peter, chapter 3. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. This is the book of First Peter, chapter 3. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may be without the word, be won by the conversation of the wives. While they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear, whose adorning let it not be that outward adorning of plating the hair and of wearing of gold or of putting on the apparel but let it be the hidden man of the heart and that which is not corruptible even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit which is in the sight of Yahweh of great price for after this manner, in the old time, the holy women also, who trusted in Yahweh, adorned themselves, being in subjection unto their own husbands. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to the knowledge, or to knowledge. Giving honor unto thy, uh, giving honor unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one another, love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil, or railing for railing but contrary wise blessing knowing that ye are thereunto called that ye should inherit a blessing for he that will love life and see good days let him refrain his tongue from evil good morning, good morning. For he that will love life and see good and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him speak peace and ensue it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you, if ye be followers of that which is good? But if ye are, but ye be suffer for righteousness' sake. Happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord power in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear, having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as, evil, as of evildoers, that they may be ashamed that falsely accuse you that will falsely accuse your good conversation in a mashiach for it is better if the will of Yahweh be so that ye suffer for well doing than for evil doing for a mashiach also hath once suffered for sins the just for the unjust that he might bring us to Yahweh being put to death in the flesh but quickened by the spirit by which also he went and preached unto the spirits 
in prison, which sometimes are disobedient. When once the long suffering of Yahweh waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. The like figure whereunto even baptism doth also now save us. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm alright. Good. Sloppy. The like figure we're on to baptism doth also now save us. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward Yahweh by the resurrection of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who is going into heaven and is on the right hand of Yahweh, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. And yes, pretty much what this chapter is going into is how, first and foremost, the wives are to be in subjection unto their husband, to be obedient to their husbands. The husbands giving honor unto their wives simultaneously the man being in subjection unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, because that's what we are to do. We are to be obedient to the Lord, you know, and to do His will. You know, like it's going into also how during the time of Noah, only eight souls were delivered. And in this time that we're coming into, only the elect of the nation of Israel will be delivered. The whole nation will be saved like they were during the time of Egypt, during the first Exodus. The entire nation will be saved in this time that we're living in. Only the elect will be delivered by way of the chariots, which are so called UFOs. Those are the only souls that are going to make it. cross he did die for the elect's sake ultimately for the entire nation of Israel but in particular the elect he died for the sins of the elect and when he did die he was resurrected and power was given unto him our Lord conquered death and he is sitting at the right hand of our father Yahweh willing we find mercy when the Lord returns and delivers his elect so with that being said Lord willing this lesson was edifying I want to give all praise honor and glory due to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Rekakadash I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone how I learned this truth from I want to say peace and salutations to the hopefully elect to the next time Shalom